Right, I had to learn how to handle this little camera. I turned it around and switched off. Uh, we're just looking at a few peppers here which I've set. They're in trays of 20 cells. I've put two seeds to each one and as you can see they're coming through nicely. Um, there is a date on here somewhere. There we are. 23rd of the 12th these were sown. It's very early days and I have had people questioning me already is it too early to start setting certain seeds. It is for a lot of stuff. Um, I find peppers very very slow growing. So we've set a few different varieties away here. I've set them early. I have got facility in space later on. And if I need to I can also put them on grow lights. Uh, the little propagators behind. These are all just homemade things. Well they're not homemade but they just make do. These are onions which I've just set. We'll watch for those coming through. These are onions all the way through. Peppers. I'm just going to show you how... The trays of onions are coming through. These are leeks which I've just set. This is actually a homemade heat bed that I've made. And if we look down here, all it's made up of is three heated cables. And then it's covered with compost. Well, sand further along. I ran short along here. Needed to make a little bit more space, so I've just added compost. So that's my little propagating bench. Just a quick look through the greenhouse. It's just starting to fill up nicely. Um, this is the second greenhouse. I start off in another greenhouse down the bottom and I start moving stop up here. These are all young leek plants. These are all onions. Just quickly moving down. I'll show you a few products. Um, well, actually these products I can show you straight away. We were talking about, um, incidentally, I'm not paid to advertise for these. This is something that I am using and I'm trialing this year. The one on the left is for Whitefly. It's called Primatal WF Whitefly. Uh, Primatal FG is for Fungus. And Primatal RS is for Red Spider. Um, basically, they are organic. Uh, it's a new product which the Americans have been trialing in Spain. And it will be released to commercial growers this year. And I've managed to get my hands on something to give trials with. So I am giving them a try. Um, basically, I'm not spraying with any chemical. It's all natural product that's in here. And uh, I am using it. This is the Fritz spray at the top. This is excellent. And that's the mix. It's just a 2 litre um, pop bottle, plastic pop bottle. And that's the mixture in there. And what I do, I actually mix um, the white fly and the fungicide one together at the moment. And that's what I'm using. That's the only spray everything's had. Moving along, a few larger onions, a few small onions for quality. Onion seedlings on that side. Um, they've had a, about four days on the lights. Some bigger onions here, which I'm trying to grow for heavyweights. Some onions some leaks actually we'll switch this light on just to show you what the lights are like it makes a difference this is a t5 light it's just basically strip fluorescence uh, it's great for propagating with i wouldn't say it's great for pushing size on things although these are advanced but some of these have had um four or five days on the growth cabinet next door which i'll show you other handy little tools actually i'll switch a big light on This is a metal halide 600 watt bulb. Uh, this is a veg master bulb. It gets very, very bright. Moving along, uh, I've got 10 of these in the greenhouse. That's just fluorescent up on the top for me to work with. This is another metal halide. Then we move on to 600 watt sodium. So they're all lights all the way through the greenhouse. Uh, I couldn't afford to put these on all the time. But they are there if I need to use them in an emergency. By the time we'll have a quick look next door, that'll be on full. I'll quickly show you my growth cabinet. And then we can just get a, a glimpse. Going into another room. Um, I've got some leaks in this end we'll have a look at. As we see the growth cabinet, it's got extractor fans, there's two of those, they pull hot air out, 
it's got a cool fan blowing into the place uh, it's got CO2 bottle producing CO2 with the, the proper valve on and we'll just open the lighting cabinet up for you to have a look at as we can see these are very bright this is a 600 watt veg master bulb 600 watt sodium and at the far end uh, there's a twin light right at the far end which is uh, the both bulbs are 350 watt and this is for pushing growth on I've just put some onions into here uh, these are quality onions but I'm going to push a few more for heavy weights because uh, I gave a few away this week and I'm a little bit short now these are seedlings um, which I'm trying to get new breeds of leek from these won't soon, they, these were not sown uh, too early so they should make some decent leeks actually uh, I'll not push them too far all I've put them in here for is to get the roots through the bottom of the pot that's just a look at some of the facilities inside turn this around again um, just to give a glimpse of what we do here I do a lot more than that. I've also got some virus free plants coming uh, leak wise. I'll explain the system when they come. I'm hoping to get them sometime in January. Great, nice to see everybody. Thanks, bye bye.